Hi everyone, it's Elise, and um, you know how in the beginning of my videos I say we talk about Disney and Disney things, life, and finding magic in your everyday life. Well, this is part of life. Um, I'm here at our local hospital. Uh, my mom, uh, as I said in other videos, my sisters and I take care of our mom and she's got um, congestive heart failure and every so often she gets a little um, too much fluid in her lungs and we end up having to take her to the hospital and um, some other complications she has kicks in when that happens so here we are again at um, the hospital with our mom and it's just one of those things and I just thought I'd take a moment to just, um, I guess, acknowledge that, that, you know, life happens and sometimes it's a pain and sometimes it's not. And uh, finding like the magic in your everyday life is hard sometimes. But um, one thing that is, uh, one thing that I do to find magic when we go to the hospital is we just really bond together, my sisters and I, um, in times of crisis. And, you know, the magic, and you can call it magic, miracle, is my mom is still here with us. And she, you know, gets better every time. But... Um, just spending the day here at the hospital. Um, right now the cafeteria is closed, so I can um, kind of find a little quiet corner and sit here and say hi and everything. But um, it's actually kind of a cute little, well, I guess cute isn't the right word to say for the hospital, but it is a nice hospital. My mom and my sisters are sleeping right now, and I couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd just, you know, take a moment and step out and um, say, you know, what was going on. Hopefully she'll be home Monday or Tuesday, but um, anyway, um, I was going to share something with you, but I'm going to do that a little bit later um, about... Uh, what we do or what we started to do um, when she goes into the hospital because she gets goes in and out of the hospital quite often we actually had a nice break between um, November and April so um, that's good uh, a couple years ago it was like every other month she was going into the hospital so she is progressing and she is getting better anyway but uh, I'm going to leave you now and I will be back in a little while and um, until then talk to you later bye hi everyone okay so I'm back I just wanted to kind of go over um, what we want uh, started doing for our mom when she goes into the hospital we like to uh, do a go bag uh, for her so when she's ready to leave she has things uh, and when she's here there are certain things that we bring with us for her. First off, just get a big bag that holds what you can. And this bag actually isn't as big as we wanted to get, but um, so we'll probably end up getting another bag that'll fit a little bit more because we didn't get everything in there that we so What we have in here is a sweater for her in case it's cold when uh, she gets out. And a pair of socks that she actually came in to the hospital with. An extra pair of pajamas that uh, she can wear once she gets out of the hospital robe and she's able to move around more. Is this her pajama top? No, that's a regular top. Mm -hmm. We have just a regular uh, t-shirt for her to go home in as well as a pair of, does she have a pair of pants in here? Not yet. Yeah, we've got to bring a pair of pants. Um, she has another shirt in case, oh, uh, this is the pajama top to go with her pajama bottom. So 
with just a little pajama top. She likes to wear long sleeves. Yeah, she likes to wear long sleeves. Because she's just going home. She's elderly, so she does have some um, disposable panties, but I won't pull those out. Um, she's got some eye drops. Her toothpaste. Um, no, that's not her toothpaste. Um, her Benadryl cream, in case she gets itchy. Some Alka-Seltzer, in case she gets an upset stomach. I mean, I know we're in the hospital and they have stuff like that, but you know. her Polydent for her dentures. Let's see, a garbage sack, in case uh, we're on the way home and she needs she needs it. It's for dirty clothes. Oh, is that for dirty clothes? Mm -hmm. Okay. So a garbage sack for her dirty clothes. Because <laughs> they don't always have patient bags readily available. And then, um, let's see. In the front, we um, also grab a couple of rubber gloves in case we need them for on our trip home or when we get home. And also for things around the the room. Baby powder. And a razor in case she, when she takes a shower. And a toothbrush for to brush. And they actually supply the toothbrush, so this is one that they supply. Um, oh, look, and I told you it was in there. Yeah, I was just looking in the wrong thing. <laughs> Air freshener. <laughs> so when you have to go. So <laughs> the hospitals generally have them, so. Yeah, yeah. hospitals usually generally have um, some just, kind of they air freshener. They're just not in the sundries they give you in the room. Anyway, so that is our to-go box, I mean our to-go bag. Um, there were other things that we didn't get in there, like a comb or a brush. Um, and when it's winter time, we have a little bit more as well. Um, they also give the, hang on one second. <laughs> they also give each um, patient a pair of socks, uh, grippy socks, so they can um, walk around the room, especially when they are uh, start getting up and walking around and getting their physical uh, therapy. Their physical therapy, physical exercise. Um, and then you are allowed to take these home. So we'll put that in her bag as well. And she can bring them next time. So anyway, that's our to-go bag for when we have to uh, bring our mom to the hospital. So anyway, where I Where we will, are right now. Where we are right now. We usually like to pack a some toilet paper because toilet paper is generally really, really rough, rough like. <laughs> as well as tissues and and other toiletries. So we usually, yeah, we usually <laughs> bring her bring her like her own box of tissues and, and depending tissues. on how long she's but that bag's just here. not big enough and to fit it all. One thing that I forgot to tell you was to bring my pillow and yes. her pillow. So anyway, anything to make the the visit more comfortable. More comfortable. Right. Because the pillows are... We did bring a blanket from home with us because the blankets can be kind of scratchy, um, which is also why we bought the, or brought the Benadryl um, cream because sometimes the chemicals that they wash them with are kind of harsh and with sensitive skin. Right. Okay, so that's it. Um, we will talk to you later. Bye. So my plan was to make this video of my mom in the hospital over Easter and then do the other part with her to-go bag and post it. Well, my mom fell, broke her hip, and is now in the hospital again. Mm -hmm. So we are at the hospital. Again, it's actually a different hospital than she was in before with her congestive heart failure. She had her surgery. Everything went great and she's recovering but um, she's still at the hospital so anyway um, I haven't been able to put any videos out um, in the last couple of weeks because we've been busy with her 
in the hospital in and out of the hospital so I'm going to try and get this out this week and then um, we will be back to um, Disney videos and other things today. Um, I hope everybody has a great day and a great week and I will see you next time. Bye!